last 12 years of my life has been extremely structured. It's been based around a competitive racing schedule. So this is literally the first time in 12 years that I've had kind of a pause in that sort of lifestyle. The last three days have been absolutely incredible. Just being outside, being on our bikes, exploring brand new trails and roads, and seeing new things that we've never seen before. It was, I just feel really reinvigorated and it's just, it, yeah, it's exciting. It's a new, a new thing I want to continue to do and now I just can't wait to plan the next adventure to go on. I've always loved riding my bike and I've always loved camping from when I was super, super young. So this trip we have planned is a combination of two of my most favorite things. I mean, we're going to get on our bikes and ride to where we're planning on camping, whether we're out there for five, six, seven hours. Um, I'm going to love every second being on my bike and then we're going to end being able to camp and enjoy being outside and, and in nature. And I think it's going to be an awesome couple days. Day one, we are headed from Bend south down through Sun River, past Wikiup Reservoir, possibly around Davis Lake. It's going to be about 90 miles and bring us to camp at Little Cultus Lake. Don't fuck with me, don't fuck with me. If you hope back, just remember this, please. Oh, uh, oh, uh, they try, but they'll never get by me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, you can try, but you'll never get by me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, they try, but they'll never get by me. Oh, uh, oh, uh. Yeah, about a six hour ride today. We uh, we left Bend, headed south through Sun River area, up around Wikiup, got a little turned around there from what I had planned out for us, but um, ended up on the Cascade Lakes Highway, which we were just further north than originally wanted. So we made a detour back south towards Davis Lake to check out kind of the loop, the gravel road that runs all the way around Davis Lake. And then we wanted to take gravel road in from Davis Lake into Little Cultus, which is where we are now, but a little spun around again. So anyways, six hours, about almost 90 total for the day. Um, and then I just did a quick 30 minute, four mile jog off and here we are at Little Cultus to camp here for the night. Tonight, my parents were gracious enough to bring our tent and some food and we'll have a great meal, enjoy some beverages, campfire, um, camp here and then get up tomorrow and do another, another long one to explore more up here. Possibly, I think, check out from here over towards Waldo Lake um, and towards maybe the Oak Ridge area and then back here again for tomorrow night. The 
Seventeen, wild and free and Brown hair flowing in the wind Speeding down that two-lane street Most beautiful thing I'd ever seen We are right here Little Cultus Lake this was the road that I ran yesterday, so that would have taken us all the way there. Waldo. This appears to be a trail. This was the road I was talking about down here. That also takes you over to Waldo. Day two, we will stay up in the area around Little Cultus Lake, but explore um, around Waldo Lake and some of the gravel roads in that area and just do a big loop and still stay at camp at Little Cultus Lake that night. We are gonna do a little shakeout jog first thing, so that's done before we head out on another bike adventure. Uh, the run was awesome, yeah. I like getting the run done, keep my streak alive, but now we can just adventure all day. Ready? If you rise, if you rise, if you rise, don't forget your past situation. If you stumble, if you stumble, if you stumble, try to lift your mind through meditation. If you rise, if you rise, if you rise, try to keep your good reputation. If you stumble, if you stumble, if you stumble, try to lift your mind through meditation. Keep your feet in the right direction. Feed your spirit all around. It was awesome. A little more relaxed, pretty chill day, not pretty like recovery ride, I would say, but cool new adventure. So we were trying to find a trail that we were looking for yesterday, but once again, missed it. <laughs> but we made it from here all the way over to Waldo, which was cool. And then we checked out the road that cuts you from Waldo back over to Cascade Lakes. Um, that is super, super rough, rocky. Um, we were able to ride it, but yeah, just getting to know this area better and on a chill, fun adventure day. Walk the streets, go back where you came from. Move your feet in the right direction. Free your spirit with all of If you stumble, if you stumble, if you stumble, try to lift your mind through meditation. If you rise, if you rise, if you rise, try to keep your good reputation. If you stumble, if you stumble, if you stumble. Sitting on my backpack in my bags, hoping. 
hoping that someone calls me back Planning my next trip on a map alone and traveling round the world And I would wish that someone asked me Yeah, for me it's awesome to get to spend some time with my parents and also just that they're so enthusiastic about getting outside and camping and exploring as well and it, we I just feel lucky that we have this opportunity to spend the time with them. It was their 37th anniversary yesterday, so it was cool to be with them for that. And then, yeah, just grateful that they love this stuff and they're willing to, I guess, transport our stuff so we could do this. They brought our tent and camping gear, so that was super cool. We could just ride here. And now they're gonna do a little ride themselves today and, and head back to town and then drop our stuff off en route. So all we have to do is ride and get ourselves back to bend. <laughs> Final day of our three-day journey. We are going to head north this time. Uh, I feel like we've covered a good section of the southern Deschutes National Forest and now we're gonna hit the northern part. So kind of loop back up past Elk Lake, up towards Todd Lake. That's where we'll take a trail heading north gravel road past Todd Lake and head north towards Sisters and then make a big loop around back down south towards Bend. I think probably day three will be about five or six hours. I don't know the trail conditions of a couple of the the roads we've we've chosen. It could take an hour to go five miles, it could take an hour to go 15 to 20. So that's the thing when you're out on gravel adventures. It could be, <laughs> one hour could be three to cover the same stretch. All right. If we get lost, we'll give a yell. Let if you know. <laughs> Telling you. you know our general area. Yeah. Satellite GPS yeah. thing so yeah. that we can <laughs> save you. Queremos presentar una de sus favoritas, la Tarante Group Machine de los lejanos orientes, presentando la vibración tropical colombiana. Hoy le queremos dar para el perro, para la perra, para el abuelo, para la abuela, para toda la gente que quiere bailar. Corrupto, vida dedicado al falso contaminado, encaminado a lo campo minado. Seres que gobiernan y controlan nuestra tierra hipnotizado con su juego mental, limitando nuestro potencial como ser humano. No dejando que lleguemos, no quieren que seamos, quieren mantenernos controlados. Babilón, ¿qué pasó? Lo que tienen el poder, tienen el futuro en su mano. El mundo que está cambiando, acaso el humano será capaz de cambiar el microchip que le han implantado. Baila muchachita, baila muchachito, baila abuelo, baila abuelita, cambia tu ritmo, maravilla. <laughs> We're just Hi. Bye. Oh, nice. And welcoming you back. Welcome. Welcome, welcome crew. Yeah. That was good. How was your trip? So good. good. Are we on your video? Yeah, you're going to be on your video. Oh, yeah. Do you want us to make a, do you want us to make a welcome? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, I would absolutely do that again. I'm going to plan out our next our next trip literally tonight probably. Um yeah, it's just crazy the the trails, the roads around here, just all the space that we haven't explored. Um and yeah, there's just so many things out here to to explore and check out that I don't yeah, I can't even think of where the next stop would be. <laughs> There's so many. I'm, I'm so excited to, for the next one. <laughs> Need to clean up, shower, wash every, all our clothes and everything, and then literally probably pack up for the next one. <laughs> Thank you.